<laughs> the FBI put me up to it, man. I didn't have a choice. So, um, I got your drop of um, new icons, and I have some like, like, yeah. So there's um, two things. One is just like feedback on individual icons, and then the other is like some more stuff I want to add. I kind of like rethought the whole programming UI. <laughs> Um, it uses the same stuff and but uh, and a few th other more things. <laughs> um, so which do you want to do first? Let's start with, with uh, the ground level stuff. What, what are you what are you building up from the from scratch here? Um, okay, well, it's it's not totally from scratch. There's still like a tablet interface. But it starts small and just at the bottom of the screen. So you just got that basically to start, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna grow it upwards as you as your program grows until it fills the space, and then I'll I'll put scrolling in basically. So I'll add the scrolling when that happens, but. I mean, I so like some one of the decisions I made early on, sort of, is that uh, if I if I have if I let the player hide and show the programming interface. Um, then the programming interface feels like an intruder on the space of the game, and and it has like a negative feeling to it. Every time you're forced to go into the programming interface, you're like blocking out the game, uh, and that's why I think it just needs to be there all the time. Now it doesn't have to take up more space than it needs, um, and. And I, I, I may rethink this and, and just have it always always open and always full size. We'll see. Anyway, um, uh, I, I want to have this additional rune that's like null. And it just looks like a, uh, like a little four-pointed star. I don't know if you can see that. And um, when you press that, uh, kind of a menu comes up. And and then you can, like, if you swipe up, that'll be forward. If you swipe right, that'll be right. Swipe left, that'll be left. And maybe up and left will be attack or something. And... Um, and the same th what yeah so i think those are all going to be in one thing the beauty of this is that like you have eight spaces around the spot so and there's only nine uh, square command types or like statement types. Um, so there's like statements and expressions. Statements are like a thing to do, and an expression is something that evaluates. Um, so every line begins with a with one of these like statement icons. Never. They have a similar, uh, like the, the way they, they do their spell system is you have to put the spell icon and then it expands the spell list. And if you have different categories, it goes like fire, ice, water, etc. Yeah. 
yeah, so there's, so here I, I have like an additional icon that's never going to be used in a program. But if you, if you swipe down on this square thing, assuming that that's present because some of the, um, like these are going to populate as the game goes on. Like at first you're just going to have, you know, forward, left, and right. And then we'll add attack, and then we'll add repeat, and so on. Um, but the, there, we do need some like menu expander icons that are the same, um, the same size and shape. So like, I think I imagine it just being like a triangle pointed down, and then I'll flip it the other direction when. Uh, when you're in that, so so it, it's like there's two layers of um, menu, and and you can just go between them. And this same is true here's numbers. So like by default, you you um, you know when you start by default, it'll be numbers like this, and you'll go up and right for for zero, one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then we'll add the up thing once once that point in the game comes around and you have other options. And then those will all slide down and away, and these will slide into place. And here you have plus, minus, the three variables, eyeball, and heart. So, so nothing's more than like two swipes away. I'm sure easy or not easy, but like it had a, it had a useful metaphor of like because I used to have the concept of the runes being a limited resource. Um, then I needed to kind of use this metaphor of like having a shelf or a bag where you'd pull these runes out and put them into the program, but then you could you could reach in and there could be none there, at, you know, if you ran out. But I'm kind of getting rid of that, so um, this is. Yeah, don't worry about being performative here, Patrick. <laughs> it's true there's there in many languages anyway there's more than one way to do things <laughs> so and also the background you know how I have the like black background for the um for the tablet interface yeah I'm gonna have six different colors of background. That way when we get to the point where you're doing calling of other programs, so you, so from within one of these tablets you can call a program that you've previously written in another program in another tablet. And by color coding those I think it'll make it um, a lot easier to um, remember like which program was which and, and such. Um, so I'll also need like so on the top here, there's a there's a clear and an undo button, uh, and those are gonna map to keyboard things. Oh, oh another thing about this whole uh, this whole scheme of um, sort of contextual radial menus is that it's very controller friendly. So if I ever want to use like um, a, a traditional game controller, we can make that happen. Yeah, so keyboard input and and button pressing instead of always having to use a mouse necessarily. So, so basically in addition to the rune types that I gave you before, we need that, that like star thing, 
and we need uh, menu like arrow things that are in a circle and then and then menu arrow thing that's in a square. Yeah, so down downward facing triangle in a, a oh. <laughs> I've just been notified that I have chores to do. Uh sorry, I lost you. Uh. Um, oh crud. Sorry. Here we go. Um, yeah, so a downward facing arrow in a square and a downward facing arrow in a circle. That's all. So those three things. Um, so yeah, can you bring up the runes that you've made and we can switch to like going through them? Cool. So first off, um, there's two things that look like a Venn diagram. And, yeah. So, so um, in the originals, there were two Venn diagram-looking things. I don't know if you got both of them. That's how it originally worked. I'm gonna go from the top and drop into the So if you look at Pui's thing, there should be two. There should be um there should be one where only the center segment of the Venn diagram is colored in. So that's and, yeah. Yeah, so the center segment is colored in because and is like both, uh, both assertions have to be true. So like only the middle region is sort of active. So it would be inverted, the inverse of this. So like only the middle uh, lemon shape should be glowy. And then the other one, which is or. Um, so the, the or has all three segments colored in. So like or just means if any of these things is true, then. Uh, well, with with that one, none of them are colored in. Right. Um, attacks looking good. Call looks good. Um, the connectors look good. We don't need glowy versions of the connectors, though. So um, we can just have one version of each of those. Non-glowy. We, we want them to sort of blend in. In fact, if you want to make them like a darker shade than everything else, I think that would be helpful to visually distinguish like the things to pay attention to and the things to just kind of ignore. Um, equals looks it, it looks like they're on t it's on two different resolutions. I don't know why. Like the actual symbol looks high resolution. Maybe it's because it's a pixel perfect like corners. 
it, it's, it's not, it's not bad. It's a hot right. and then drop okay. down from the top. Ah. You'll, you'll win it for us. Okay. It's this glow right here that's blurring this section that's making it look <gasps> less uh, defined. Because everything else, it's the exact same. Except these, these, these No, even are. even in the non glowy version. The yeah, equal I mean, sign them itself oh, looks yeah, way awesome. higher resolution. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want to like move it over half a pixel or whatever. Um, also, I think I think just to keep it simple, we should just have just two white rectangles, kind of like how the attack thing is just like big. Uh, you know, big white spaces instead of doing the outlines. Cool. Um, false looks pretty good. Um, forward, I think again we should just like have it have it be yeah, filled white things, and may maybe maybe that's um, false because it's a black interior, and everything else is white. It doesn't seem to fit in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I I understand totally. Yeah, I guess so. That would it would seem kind of uncanny, but maybe that'll work. Sure. Greater than looks great. <laughs> looks greater than. Um, heart looks good. Um, is that the glowy or non-glowy? I didn't have a glowy or I was going to ask you this. I'm at. Yeah. It's not, it's, not a, it's not like a UI element for health. It's like within the program. I want to know what my health is. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and And then that's, I mean, the same thing with the, uh, with the, uh, um, with the resolution thing on, uh, on the if, which is, yeah. So, well, Right on. Um, with turning, I'd like to first of all fill fill it in, <laughs> and then also can you bring the so this is left. That's that's a left turn, but you know how the the actual arrowhead is kind of pointing right. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, yeah, so rotate it so that the arrowhead is on the top of the symbol. So, so actually like rotate it about the, about the center and, and yeah, so that the arrowhead actually points left. And, and if you have to do, so like one thing about this symbol is that it was, it's like in perspective. And that was because people, we were thinking that, I don't know, I got some feedback that people were confused about like how the turning works. And that might, might have been from, I, the first iteration just had like an arrow pointing left. Um, so, Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
Let's do a shorter segment of the circle. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, and if you have to get rid of perspective, I don't care about that. Just it can be like a top-down figure. Um, less than great. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, for for this one as well, for the numbers, I assume for the circles, the yeah, things are perfect. Just kind of rough it up a bit. To mm -hmm. Um, one thing, one other criticism is that um, the sort of circular divots in the number things are confusing. Yeah. Did you uh, like apply a filter to Pui's thing? Or something, because he had those like he had a bunch of confusing little circles too. Oh, I see. What it was was like you would you press no, this no, and then it would pull up all five, or it would pull up the, like uh, I'm about that reading, so sorry. Right. from the morning, right? Yeah. And so it was, yeah. It, I liked the, the, the effect that it had. And so really like, it's really kind of when you turn, it's the same background that just turns okay. with, the, with the numbers. <laughs> so it kind of just, the only, the only thing that would, would change is the actual numbers. So, yeah, you're probably about the top, and then place your, your yeah. Cool. And I like switching to black for zero. I think that's a very clear. <laughs> yeah. Isn't there another one? I, I don't know. I feel like you gave me more than one attachment of... Oh, I see. I kind of... I, I like the idea of it being, like, pretty much always um, white on gray until the glow. Well, it was... Yeah. I mean, that one looks the most vibrant, and yeah, anything to make programming feel less boring. Yeah. All right. So I'll 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 make sure to give you the. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait till I can um, spend some time coding up this new interface style. It's it's gonna feel a lot more streamlined. I gotta finish this game then. Exactly. Uh yeah, absolutely. Are you doing that like as you're doing this or are you gonna do that after the game is finished? I'm gonna do that after the game is finished. Yeah. Uh, pretty well. It's it's a it's really cool stuff that she's adding to the world. Oh. Yeah, it's exciting. Well, it's been a pleasure, and we've racked up uh, one and a third gigabytes of conversation.
takes up a lot of memories. Yep. I have never been to one of those. Okay. Texas has really nice ones. It's like the best one in the country. And we go on this weekend. But if it's, yeah, it's always fun. Cool. Yeah. There, you, you ever see that the picture of you and this? Kind of a slightly oh, chubby guy with long, long blonde hair. And he's always at these yeah. Comic Cons and stuff walking around. He's just, oh, yeah. oh, that's right, man. Yeah, just oh, like an awesome cool. centaur. Yeah, no, I, I have, I've never seen this picture, but you, you make me want to. He's always around. One year, me and my friend were We were out of time. Ah, sweet. Everywhere. That's actually the Renaissance Festival. Huge. There's like, I would say, I don't know how many, it's many acres of like, I think our little boys are going to take out the curve themselves. Renaissance Fair stuff. Super sweet. Well, enjoy yourself. Um, yeah, there's, there's no rush. Um, yeah, I probably won't get to starting to code this for um, until next week anyway, or like after next week. And and I have temp assets that I can use. I can just use Hui's uh, runes. So sweet. Oh, dude, you're dropping acid and like killing all the birds in front of you. Regarding the what? I'm sorry. The uh, the overall style of the runes. Uh huh. Runes. Uh, um, are you satisfied with how they look? Uh, yes. General. Like oh, but you make it so that. It yeah, I, for cool. some reason, it seems like they're lower resolution than the ones that Pui gave me. I that isn't true, is it? No, they're, it's, they're the exact same resolution. The difference uh, is is that he used. Uh, very thin lines, ah. solid colors. Whereas I'm trying to create like a rock pattern. Cool. Oh, yeah. No, I, I I like it overall. Um. Yeah. So the the trick is going to be um, making sure that you can tell the difference between the numbers at a glance. Like, oh, you know, this is clearly different from you know. Like barely looking at them, and also the um, repeat if and if and repeat if those three um, look very similar to one another um, in uh, so yeah so that's re yeah that's repeat and that's repeat if. Which is, you know, a logical sort of combination of if and repeat. But it's also, like, really hard to visually distinguish. Well, what I can do is just make the center part a different color than the outer part a different color than the part of the area. So this will be a color, the if's a color, and then this will be... The repeat's a color, and then if and repeat if is both of them. Yeah, that could work. And also just, you know, getting rid of the outlines within outlines is going to go a long way. Just like, yeah, it's just like solid shapes wherever we can. The Venn diagram is kind of an exception. Like, we want to see the outline of the circle where the, you know, for and, the outline of the circle should be. Just a line. Cool, cool. All right. A pleasure as always. Sir. Um, yeah, until next time. All right, man. Well, you have a good weekend. I will.